When you think of arachnids, what are some of the first things to come to mind? Spiders with their venomous bites? Scorpions with their painful stings? But one group, the most diverse of all the arachnids, often goes right under the radar, the mites. Being almost invisibly tiny and oftentimes pesky creatures, it is no mystery why mites don't usually get the spotlight like many other scarier arachnids. But what if I told you there is an unusually large mite that is so weird and unique that for the longest time scientists had no clue where they even fit in the arachnid family tree? I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Today, we're searching for this strange mite in the leaf litter coating the ground of a South Florida white sand scrub habitat. While at first glance, dead leaves on the ground might not seem like the best place to find crazy creatures. The darkness and moisture created by this dense carpet of pine needles on the forest floor provides the perfect microhabitat for some of the strangest invertebrates you'll ever see. And these weird mites are far from the only strange arachnids living here. Check out what we got right here in this white tray. Well, this is not what we're out here looking for. It is still an extremely unusual looking arachnid that you might not even have ever heard of before. That, while they are rarely seen by people, you almost certainly have in the soil or leaf litter around your house. This is a pseudoscorpion. And while it might look like a very small scorpion without a tail, what you might be able to gather by its name is that it actually is not a real scorpion. They are their own distinct and separate group of arachnids, characterized by their lack of a venomous stinger, but presence of those sharp scorpion-like claws. Now, just because they don't have a venomous stinger doesn't mean that these aren't venomous. Strangely enough, they actually inject their venom with their claws. But these little pseudoscorpions are so tiny that there is no need to worry about these stinging you. And even if it does, it won't cause any pain. You wouldn't even notice. Well, I'm not quite sure what species this is, as identifying pseudoscorpions is very tough, but it's still really cool. And I always make sure to appreciate every moment I spend with one of these amazing arachnids. So let's put the pseudoscorpion right back where we found it and keep looking for more strange arachnids out here in this pine forest ecosystem. That pseudoscorpion was certainly weird, but I have a feeling we could find even weirder arachnids out here. And as expected, with some more time spent sifting the leaf litter, I finally noticed the shape of what could be our mite target. Let's take a look. Right in here is exactly what we were out here looking for. One of these amazing Opilio acarita is right in here. Let's get it out of this tray and up close to the camera so we could learn all about this amazing creature. Check this little creature out, right on my hand. That right there is one of the most primitive arachnids in the entire world. This is a member of the family Opilio acaridae. Now at the current moment, I'm not entirely sure what species this is, as there's not too many public resources about these strange animals. But I can 100% tell you that this is an Opilio acaridae, one of the most unique groups of arachnids in the entire world. Now looking at the morphology of this incredible creature, you might have no clue at all what this is related to. Is it a kind of tiny spider, a harvest man? a weird looking whip scorpion, and you'd actually be wrong about all those, even though it has traits of all of those. This is in fact a mite, a very large one at that, but it is a mite. Genetic research has actually placed these in the group Parasitiforms, which includes the ticks, as well as a group of mostly soil dwelling mites called Mesostics. But these Opilio acarida are by far the strangest members of the group, showing some of the basal traits of early arachnids. Unlike most mites, these have very large noticeable eyes. And at first glance, what might look like it has two really big eyes on the side of the head. Each of those eye areas is actually a cluster of six eyes. So they have six pairs for a total of 12 eyes. And these things have abnormally good vision for a mite because of these eyes. Another trait that makes these more similar to more basal arachnids or more ancient arachnids than to most present-day mites is their sclerotized opisthosoma. This means that unlike many current-day arachnids, like most mites and spiders, these don't just have one singular segment consisting of their opisthosoma or their abdomen, but rather have an abdomen that is comprised of multiple segments. Another very strange thing about these Opilio acarida are their antennae form legs. That means that their front two legs are evolved into these long, thin structures that they actually use to feel the environment around them, rather than to walk on. 
This is a trait that is shared by many whip scorpions, like tailless whip scorpions, short-tailed whip scorpions, or palpigrades. But to make things even weirder, this is actually less closely related to those than it is to ticks and other shorter-legged soil-dwelling mites. Now don't let the Apiliocarida's close relatedness to the ticks scare you at all. These are completely harmless. You can see I'm handling it and it's not showing any attempts to bite me whatsoever. That is because it is actually physically incapable of biting me. They don't have venomous fangs like a spider would or sharp blood-sucking chelicerae like a tick would. Rather, their chelicerae are much softer and better evolved for eating dead and decaying plant matter, algae, detritus, fungus, and other small organic food items in the soil. These things are basically only found in leaf litter and in moist soil. And here in Florida are mainly found in these well-preserved sand pine scrub habitats, where the leaf litter that forms underneath pine trees is very moist. Now if you look at the way that the legs look, as well as the fact that the sclerotized epistosoma and the prosoma look like they're fused into one segment, and there's large visible eyes, you might think, well this looks like a really tiny harvest man. And while it isn't related, besides of course being arachnids, their resemblance to harvestmen is so strong that that is actually where the name Apilio Acarida comes from. It is a combination of Apilio, which comes from the Apiliones, the Latin name for the harvestmen, and Acarida, which is Latin for mites. Basically meaning that this is a harvestman looking mite. This just has to be one of the strangest creatures I've ever come across. A mite related to ticks that eats organic material and leaf litter, looks like a harvest man, has huge eyes and antennae form legs like a whip scorpion. And unlike many mites that you need a microscope to see, these mites are of course visible to the naked eye. These Apilio acarida can grow up to four millimeters in length. And while that might sound tiny, that's about the same size as some of the ants living in this leaf litter, which is really unusually large for mites. And I wonder if that kind of purplish blue coloration that these Apilio acarida have serves some sort of purpose. I'm not sure about that, but it really does make them look even more unique than they already are. And these mites are extremely rarely seen by humans because of their very, very secretive nature. So I'm extremely privileged and you should feel the same about being able to have an amazingly rare interaction with an incredibly special kind of mite. This is exactly what I love about getting out here and exploring nature. You never know when you're gonna find something that very little other people, or maybe even no one at all, has ever seen before. And this unique mite right here is an amazing sign of the fact that we still have so much more to learn about what is going on, even in the leaf litter right under our own feet that we walk on every day. So I feel like this is a great time to put this amazing Apelio Acarda mite right back where we found it. I hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing mite with me. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we find an even rarer mite like arachnid in leaf litter as well, the micro whip scorpion. See you there!